Hey, you ever wonder how you stack up against your competition? Well, you know, uh, just to let you know, the uh, 2019 Building Service Contractor uh, Benchmarking Survey Report has been released, and uh, there's a lot of good information in there. I'm going to share a little bit with you. Um, so, you know, to begin with, uh, we see that the uh, the years in the cleaning industry, there's 44% that have more than 30 years. So that's uh, pretty impressive. Uh, areas they serve uh, generally is local within 100 miles of their headquarters. Uh, that's about 58%. 16% uh, are regional, uh, uh, meaning that they have more than uh, they serve more than one state, or but are re, uh, limited to a region. 14% uh, are national. 8% uh, are statewide, and only 5% are international. And also there's 89% uh, do not franchise. So a large percent of the industry is made up of uh, companies that are not franchises. Uh, that's really no surprise. Um, and also when we start looking around at the report, we see that most of the complaints come from, uh, from uh, restrooms, 39%. Uh, uh, and then after that, uh, it's coming from the carpeting, 16%. When we look at the total uh, square foot, uh, the total square foot cleaned every month, uh, we have about 21% that do 10 million square feet or more. So that's a that's, that's quite a bit of uh, square footage. Um, then we come in around 19% are less than 2,500 square feet uh, per month, or I'm sorry, uh, 250,000 square feet per month. And then 10% are doing about 500,000 to just about a million uh, square feet per month. But you know, go ahead and figure that up is all you have to do is add up the, the square footages of all the accounts that you serve. Um, so if you have a 10,000 square foot account and you're servicing it three days per week, well then that's 30,000 square feet per week. Then multiply that by 4.43 uh, and that will give you a monthly uh, square footage that you're, that you're cleaning. So there, there's a little formula for you that you can use just to uh, calculate that, what your total cleaning square footage is. Something else that's going on is that they've got some additional cleaning services that are provided. And it really comes as no surprise that carpet cleaning uh, leads the way at 86%. 86% uh, of cleaning companies offer that service and only 9% of it subcontract that service. So then the, uh, the other area, uh, you know, people may be wondering about um, stripping and waxing. Uh, about 84% of companies offer that, uh, that service, which is really a, not a surprise because generally once they're doing their general cleaning, then they go either to, into carpets or hard floors. So, you know, that's why those both have a hyper large percentage of companies that are offering that service. Uh, another one is uh, restroom supply management. You know, 70% of the companies actually pr provide that service. Now that shouldn't be a surprise either, you know. Um, you know we've been doing that forever, so you know don't leave a lot. You're leaving a lot of money on the on the table if you're not doing that. You know, offer to supply the, uh, the restroom supplies and manage it. You know, it's easy money. So another one is uh, window washing. 56% uh, of companies provide that service, and about 33% subcontract it. So hopefully those numbers will help you. Now here's one that I really thought was interesting and this is going to be the last one I'm going to share with you. But how do you set your business apart? So a whopping 89% say experience and reputation is how they set their business apart from others. So that's rather interesting. 53% uh, uh, say value added services is how they do it. 37% say it's uh, from being a one stop shop. Okay. 34% say that it's industry recognized certifications is how they set their business apart from others. And then 33% say that it's price. That's an awfully big number of 33% of companies that are setting them, uh, you know, how do they set themselves up, uh, how do they differentiate themselves from others, and it's price. If you're competing on price, that's a quick, it's a quick race to zero. So for those of you that are actually doing that, you better stop doing that. You're, you're not going to make no money. I mean, why would you go and compete on price? It makes no sense. Not a good idea. So anyway, uh, that's about all I got for you. Uh, I'm Steve Hansen, uh, co-founder of the Janitorial Store. 
Com and myhousecleaningbiz.com and this here um, this report you can actually uh, read the entire thing on the janitorialstore.com uh, and if you remember go to the download library uh, and go into uh, business uh, or company forms I'm sorry and uh, you'll be able to go ahead and download this entire report for 2019 and uh, you'll be able to compare where you're at with other companies uh, that are in the industry so uh, that's all I have for you to now. Uh, you know, a lot of good information. Uh, it's, it's good to know where you're at and what other companies are doing. And uh, this report covers a lot of things. So, um, you know, hopefully you remember the janitorial story. You can get into the download library and, and watch and look at this entire report. But until then, we'll see ya.